Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV where all geek culture collides. Today, I'm going to be taking another look at the 2016 Mattel Ghostbusters Classics line, Winston Zeddemore. Winston was portrayed by Ernie Hudson in both films as well as the video game. And a quick little note, Ernie did try to play Winston in the real Ghostbusters cartoon. However, that was ultimately turned over to Arsenio Hall. I'm not sure why they did it that way, because you would think if the live action actor wanted to voice the character in animation, they would go for it. But we ended up with Arsenio Hall. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. We'll take his uh, neutron wand out of his hands. We'll plug it into his pack. There is a peg right there. And there's a slot right there. Should just peg right in. Uh, they can be slightly difficult the very first time. That one went on no problem. Let's go ahead and take his pack off real quick. So we can get a better look at the figure himself. All right, so first things first, I noticed when I was doing the review, the Egon review that they actually reused packs from a previous line, copyright 2011, and these figures came out in 2016, so, but very nice detail in the pack. Uh, you got the four lights there that are actually pistons in the video game. When the pack overheats, those pop out. And you gotta stop blasting for a little while to let it cool down. They go back in, resets, and you're good to go. But very good likeness. As I said before, I do wish uh, Mattel would have released these guys with a few more accessories. Um, you know, Peter should have came with. Peter should have came with maybe a radio in his hand and a little uh, air, plun air plunger thingy that he used to investigate uh, Dana's apartment. Uh, Ray should have came with his goggles and maybe a radio. Uh, Winston should have came with maybe, I don't know, maybe a... a I, I don't think they could have done cigarettes. Um, maybe a Twinkie. And um, maybe a trap. Egon could have came with a PKE meter and a few trays for his spores, moles, and fungus collection. But as you can see here, they did get a fairly decent likeness to Ernie Hudson, which is a lot more than I can say for the Ray Stans figure. Uh, Ray Stans didn't really look that much like uh, Dan Aykroyd. I, I wish they would have done a better job with that, but it does look like they did a really good job with Ernie Hudson's likeness here. All right, so his head can rock up and down, side to side. It is on a ball joint. Uh, however, sorry about that, guys. I had to turn the light on so you guys could see a little bit better. Uh, however, unlike the Ray figure, his head doesn't really move that much. And I think it has to mainly do with the uh, ball joint. Um, Ray's kind of just sat in there. Uh, he had kind of a slimmer neck. Whereas Winston, Egon, and Peter have uh, thicker necks it seems like. Thicker ball joints. So they don't really get as much articulation. And the collar does kind of hinder things as well. So for articulation. Ooh. As I've said in previous shows, as soon as I get these guys and get them out of the box, I take a look at them real quick. And then they go up on my shelf. So their joints are very, very tight. Go up to there. 
go all the way around. And as I said previously, in other in reviewing the other Ghostbusters, I wish their joints would have been on the inside in the elbow pads rather than under the elbow pads. It really makes it difficult. You can't really straighten out their arms hardly at all. That right there is as straight as they're going to get. Which sucks, especially if you're going to display them maybe with their proton packs out in front of them or off to the side or maybe holding them in their hands, you know. Or them with their packs on but their neutrino wands holstered. Uh, they, they won't really, they can't really straighten out their arms. Really kind of sucks. I don't display my own like that, but I know some collectors might want to. So anyway, he does have a waist swivel. And as with most, as with the other Ghostbusters, when you do move his legs, this piece of his belt does kind of hit against the hose here. So you got to kind of lift that out of the way before he can lift his leg. He goes up that high, go back that far, and can go out to the side, just like that. You got thigh swivel, you got knee joint, you got boot swivel right at the uh, calf and then you've got an ankle rocker no side to side just up and down front to back whatever you want to call it uh, but overall not bad I do like how these guys look take a look at the uh, writing on here 2009? Huh. So it looks like they may have used the bodies from previous line as well. And maybe just updated the heads, perhaps. I'm not entirely sure, but it does seem to be that way. 2009, made in China, Mattel. So they just pretty much Frankensteined these guys together and then resold them. You got packs from a 2011 toy line. You've got the bodies from 2009 toy line. And then the heads from 2016. I have to say I'm a little disappointed in Mattel for that. This is the first I'm seeing of that. I noticed the 2011 Proton Packs earlier in uh, when I was reviewing Egon and again with Ray. Uh, however, I did not realize that the Ghostbusters bodies were made in 2009. So again, it seems they may have, may have just use the older bodies and the older proton packs and the only thing that got updated were the heads. I will have to do some research on that though guys and uh, double check on that but I'm pretty sure that's what they did. Now to put the proton pack back on bring their arm back as far as you can try to get them straightened out as much as possible it's going to be kind of difficult and you want to be very careful because the straps do tend to hang up on the elbow pads and it is a softer plastic but that just means it's easy to tear there you have it go ahead and pop the neutrino wand off go ahead and stick it in his hand
Winston Zeddemore as portrayed by Ernie Hudson. Hope you enjoyed these review guys. Um, once I finish the 2016 Answer the Call Ghostbusters collection, I will be taking another look at those individually. Uh, so far, all I've got now is Abby Yates. Uh, and I just did a review on her not that long ago, so I'm not going to go do a, a second review on her just yet. Uh, we'll go ahead and wait until I get the other three. Coming up next, though, we'll be taking a look at the combiner piece that came with this toy line, the no-ghost symbol. So tune in then. <laughs>